What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we are gonna go over the difference between arrow functions and regular functions in JavaScript. Had somebody ask me about this on a comment in YouTube, so let's get to it. We are in REPL, uh, we've got our little template here where we've just got a regular function and an arrow function. Now obviously syntax is different, but that's kind of a given. So let's get into the three big differences we're gonna talk about today. The first one is arguments. With regular functions, you have access to something called arguments and that will give you a list of all the arguments passed into that function, even if there are no parameters set here. So let's go ahead and uncomment this regular function. We've got the string high, the number five, and then a Boolean true. And we're gonna say node arguments.js and run this. And then as you can see here, we get, I might need to zoom in on that a little bit actually. Uh, we get a, an object with the arguments. So zero is high, one is five, and two is true. So that is the first big difference. And then if we uncomment that and comment our error function back in with the same arguments here and run it again, we get this big chunk of stuff, but it does not have the arguments in it. So that's the first big difference. The second difference we're gonna talk about is that arrow functions have an implicit return. What does that mean? In regular functions, if we wanted the function to just super bare bones function, if we just wanted it to return the argument we passed in, we would have to say return and then give it the parameter slash argument that we want it to return. And then if we comment this out, let's go ahead and clear that and then we'll say node return.js to run that. So now this one gives us two. Here we're passing in two as an argument and then it's just gonna return two. Now with arrow functions, if you don't have the curly braces around it, you don't need a return like that. If we do this again, now we get two and five. So that's what I mean when I say implicit return. You don't need the return keyword here. It's just gonna return this automatically as long as you don't have curly braces around it. If you add the curly braces, it's gonna be undefined and you'll have to actually use return here. Did I spell return right? There we go. Must not have saved, but yeah, cool. So third and final difference we're gonna talk about is that or, um, arrow functions do not define their own execution context. So this binding does not work. What do I mean by that? Okay, so we've got an object here. We've got x is two, and then we've got our regular function, and we're gonna console log this dot x. So let's comment out our arrow function. We'll go ahead and clear this because that's getting too close to my head. And then we'll say node this.js. And you can see the regular function console logs two like we would expect. Now, if we comment that out and uncomment this, we've got the arrow function trying to console log this.x. And when we run node.this, since the arrow function does not create its own execution context and this binding doesn't work, it's undefined. So that is the third and I think the biggest difference. There are other small differences, but we're not gonna get into those in this video. So if you learned something new about error functions or regular functions, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff and I know I'm doing good stuff that helps you guys out. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you don't, don't hit that subscribe button. And um, I think that's about it. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Round one.